Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And I, too, appreciate the uh, fact that uh, both of our chairmen here have uh, called this joint hearing and um, are bringing attention to this important issue. As you've already well indicated, Senator Cardin, this is a, a very, very critical issue in I think probably all 50 states where we face the question of what kind of management we need to, to uh, undertake to effectively deal with invasive species. And Idaho is certainly one of those states that has its share of issues. In Idaho, uh, a number of the problematic invasive species are things like the yellow star thistle, the quagga mussel, uh, cheat grass, bark beetles, and Eurasian milfoil, uh, to name just a few. And uh, one of the issues that we have in Idaho is uh, because such a large percentage of our state is owned by the federal government, it's uh, more than half, closer to two-thirds of our state is, is a federal land, uh, the, the uh, activities and enforcement of the federal government and the agencies that manage these lands is critical, critical to our ability to control and manage these invasive species. So among the many other different types of issues that we, we uh, face, uh, one of them is simply the interaction at the different levels of government between state and federal as well as local governments to, uh, to deal with this and frankly the, the private citizens as they have responsibilities as well. So again, I thank you for your attention to this. I know there is a legislation in several different forms being considered that can uh, significantly change the way that we are approaching these uh, efforts to control invasive species. And uh, I have not yet uh, reached a conclusion in my own mind as to whether the proposed changes are, are going to be an improvement or not. But it's important for us to evaluate these proposals as you are doing here today. And, and again, I appreciate your bringing attention to these issues. 